Duncan drops a clangor. It was a busy time on the narrow gauge railway. It was the day of the county fair. The little engines puffed through the forests and valleys getting ready for the big day. Rusty was taking freight cars full of flowers. Peter Sam was taking pumpkins. And Duncan had a very special job to do. He had to collect the big bell from the clock tower to be polished. On the way, Duncan puffed along an old and bumpy track. It was his favorite part of the railway. Each day, Duncan would rattle along the tracks. He enjoyed the sound his wheels made. Duncan raced backwards and forwards, rattling and clattering over the bumps. Reneus chuffed up. Duncan, you're going to be late. But Duncan didn't hear Reneus. His wheels were clattering and rattling too loudly. When Duncan finally arrived at the transfer yards, he was very late. And the foreman was cross. Workmen were waiting with a large wooden frame. Inside was the big bell. The bell chimed cheerfully as it was loaded onto Duncan's flatbed. What a wonderful sound, Pete Duncan. Remember, said the foreman sternly, the bell is very heavy. The track to the polishers is old and in need of some repair. You must go slowly and carefully. But Duncan wasn't listening to the foreman. He was enjoying the chiming of the bell. Duncan chuffed along the track to the polishers. As he puffed through the mountains, his wheels started to clatter. And the bell started to chime. Duncan went faster. The bell chimed louder. With every bump and bend, it rattled and rang, it tinkled and clanged. 